Hi. Okay, so I'm doing it. I'm doing what I said. Yay! I still managed to find the foundation, so I am going to be doing a first impressions and a wear test as well. It's currently 12.20 right now, so it's not super early, but it's also not as late as I have done some wear tests in the past. So obviously I'm going to be testing the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Radiance Foundation, but the concealer I haven't got because in Superdrug they only had the foundations and they just had a card that said you can get the concealers online but I just wanted to do this video because I really really want to try this so maybe I'll get the concealer another time but for today we're just going to be testing this guy out. I think we're just going to get straight into it. We're going to do everything I usually do, a brush, a sponge and then check-ins throughout the day if I can do some while I'm at work. I'm going to try. So if you want to see a full wear test on this guy then subscribe if you want to. Give the video a thumbs up if you like the idea of this video and just keep watching my face right now. So this is actually a good day to do a foundation testing video I guess because my face is just not feeling it right now. Like, what is this? Okay, so um, my skin's moisturized. I literally just got out of the shower. So as per usual, it's not greasy. It's just wet. And I'm going to use a primer that I always use. So I'm going to use the Catrice Aqua Fresh Hydro Primer. I love this guy. And I also wanted to make sure I was using a primer that's not dewy or matte or anything like that. Why is this not in front of me? That just went straight in my eyeball. So, let me just get up the foundation. So, on the Superdrug website, this retails for £9. And how many shades? Okay, so in the store, okay, they have a lot of shades. Two, four. So, on the Superdrug website, they have 24 shades, I think. Don't quote me on that because I can't count. In store, obviously they didn't have 24. So I don't know how I feel about that. Like, I just feel like if you can't display all of the shades, don't sell the foundation in store then because it's just a bit awkward if you're like an in-between shade or literally there was about five shades in store. Maybe they're gonna expand, I don't know, but I just think just do that. Just don't sell the foundation in store if you're not going to have all the shades because it's not fair on everyone else who can't find the shade. So I didn't want to wait and order it and all that so I just kind of went with it and I got F10 which I don't know if that's going to be fine for me. I honestly have no idea. So it says the Conceal and Hydrate Foundation has a 50 shade range. But do they have 50 shades? But even on the website they don't have, they only have 24. I'm really confused. Okay, they have a large shade range online anyway. Let's just go with that. So, onto the foundation. So, the Conceal and Hydrate Foundation has especially been formulated to suit every skin type and tone, but is particularly beneficial for dry skin. With hyaluronic acid, it offers all day long radiance and glow without settling into fine lines or clinging to dry patches. And it's housed in a luxe glass bottle with a new pump. Oh! Why did I not check this? I took the seal off last night, but oh, that's so good. It's got pump, I like that. Offens medium to full coverage. Cool. We don't know if this is gonna be right for me. I honestly have no idea. So packaging wise, I'm not really bothered that it's a pump. I mean, I like pumps more than like a doe foot, which I know the old foundation bottle did have, um, but I'm not overly bothered by having a doe foot for foundations because I know like everybody at one point was like oh my god it's not sanitary to have a doe foot foundation but it's like concealers are like that so I don't understand I mean at one point I just kind of went along with everyone and was like yeah it's not sanitary it's the same as concealers not many concealers have pumps so anyway like I said I'm gonna do what I always do I'll do one side with a brush and one side with my sponge and like I said and as you can see I have several breakouts on my face. I've got one round here, one here, and here. They're the main ones. And then I've got one on this side as well. So we're gonna see how it covers. And we're just gonna go in with it. I think I'll do the sponge side first, I guess. Okay, so I've done one pump and it does look a bit liquidy, which is good. So I'll just do this side with my sponge. Okay, the color looks perfect. 
thank God. Oh, they also didn't have a tester for my shade. Obviously they had testers for all the other shades that were there, but not my shade. So I literally just had to look through the frosted glass bottle and guess. It has blended out so fast as you can see. And I would say it's just got like a nice light coverage with just like one pump. You can definitely still see my skin through. You can see, ooh, you can see that doing it. It's like literally you can see on the side of my face, it's not dewy or anything. But that has definitely given a nice glow. So I'm liking it so far. Honestly, I would be blending out still, but I don't feel like I need to. This is gonna be very quick. I'm just gonna move on to the brush side now. Doing one pump with my brush, same as I did with the sponge. I'm expecting more coverage on this side, just because it's a brush. Okay, that has, like my breakout has gone. Wow. Yeah, so you definitely get more coverage with the brush. Yeah, it, you can still see my skin like peeking through on, I keep going on that side, sorry. I keep, I can see my skin peeking through on the sponge side, whereas this side, it's covered a lot more. And I can see it's covered a lot more, like my breakout is literally, okay, you can still see it because it's like dark. You can see the redness of it, but it's covered it up really well. Okay. I'm really impressed. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. That's super dewy. Oily skin would be interesting. Like, I'd be interested to see how this is on oily skin because that looks quite dewy to me. But I like that and that's what I like in foundation. I think because we're testing it, we may as well. So I'm going to do the sponge side again. I'm going to do like half a pump, not a full one. Because I feel like that's a lot of foundation to put on and to be fair I think I would just put one layer on but for the sake of testing it and for people that want to like see the coverage we'll see if it is buildable oh my god that is so dewy and this is a lot of foundation to me for me to be wearing right now we get more coverage with the brush that looks so nice but it looks really nice with the sponge as well Okay, so I'm gonna just do the rest of my makeup. I'll keep it in for you, just for anyone that cares. Okay, so I obviously haven't done like a full glam look. I'm literally going to work. I haven't even done my eyebrows. I'm just going to be at work for the rest of the day. So I didn't do anything too special or anything, but the foundation looks really, really nice. So it's now 12.46. It was 12.20 when I started the video, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, I will do, a, I'm gonna have to try and do like a check-in while I'm at work. I'll have to do it on my phone or something, but that's the only way I'll be able to do another check-in because then I'll be back around 7.30ish. I haven't added highlight because when I test foundations, I don't always use highlight and I don't usually use highlight every single day anyway. So I just wanna see, I just wanna see how the foundation holds up and I just want to see the dewiness of it as well. This is so awkward for me right now because I'm literally at work. But it still looks pretty good, so it's currently 2.10 right now. 
everything still looks pretty normal. I'm just gonna do another check in when I get home. I'm hoping nobody walks in. That's gonna be really awkward. I'm not shiny or anything around like my cheek area. That's where I usually do get shiny if I do. But we're still looking fine. Okay, hi. So I apologize for the awful lighting right now, but I've had to come into the bathroom because I was literally like two seconds away from just taking off my makeup and then I was like, crap, I'm filming. <laughs> so anyway, this is my skin at the end of the day. Okay, so I don't even know if this is focused right now. I think it is. So I don't even look oily to be honest. Like, I'm like a tiny bit. You know what? I'm not, I'm just glowy worn really nicely throughout the day i do think the shade is like the tiniest a bit too deep but i can like easily change that with just like concealer or something but i like it, it just look like the tiniest bit like foundation so i feel like if i went in with just like one layer like i did obviously the first time around which is probably what i would do anyway then it'd be fine but yeah with two layers it does look a bit foundationy but not too much and not as bad as like the other foundation so i like this one a lot more than the other one i'm definitely going to keep wearing it obviously i want to test it out a bit more with different concealers different powders and all that good stuff so yeah so i think out of 10 i'd probably give it like a seven yeah i'd give it a seven that's good and ugh, this is the worst video set up on the planet so that's it for the video so i hope you enjoyed it if you did not then sorry and sorry for this lighting again but bye.